Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you how to use CSS to style up your text areas. Okay, so we're going to be creating this right here in today's video. Now, as we can see, if I hover over the text area, we get a change in background color with a nice subtle animation. As well as if I click onto it, we can see we get even more visual changes here. So this is all very easy to do. So going inside this tab right here, we're going to be converting this plain old text area into something like this. So uh, going back inside here and into the text area, we can see I've currently got this inside the HTML. So I've got my text area right down here. I've got a placeholder message. So it's actually an empty text area. And I've got a class of text area on the actual text area. So the reason for this class is because we don't want to apply these different styles to every single text area on the page that would cause a mess. So by having this class here, we can simply copy it go inside the CSS and target that class only um, to of course apply our styles. So what are we going to do? The first thing is going to be to change a few colors. So going inside here, let's set the background color to be a light gray. So using triple D inside here. Now, of course, you can make this whatever color you want. Just make sure that it's a light version of your color. Okay. We can also set a text color here of a medium gray. Once again, if you're choosing your own color here, make sure it's a medium uh, to light version of your color. Okay. We can set some padding of 1 EM. This just means one times the current font size. In our case, it's going to be one times 16, giving us 16 PX. Okay. We can set a border radius here of 10 PX to give us a 10 pixel rounded corners. Okay. As well as a border of two pixel, then solid, then transparent. So we're going to be looking at um, a bit of a trick later on um, as to why we're using a transparent color here, but um, it should make sense in a couple of minutes. Okay. But let's keep that there for now, as well as an outline of none. So this outline of none is going to basically just remove the default border, which many browsers give um, when the user has focus on the text area. So if I save this here and go back in the browser, we get something like this. As we can see, we have those rounded corners, the change in the background color, and of course the change in the text color. Okay. So going back inside here, let's continue with the font. So when it comes to the font, let's set a font family of, in my case, I'm going to choose the Hebo font as I've got it installed and then just fall back to sans serif. So of course, once again, it's totally up to you which font you want to use here. Um, in my case, also the Hebo font supports a 500 font weight. So I'm going to say font weight here of 500. Once again, it's totally up to you. If you want to add custom fonts to your websites, I've got a whole video dedicated to that if you want to check it out. Okay. Dropping down, we can set the font size here of 16 PX because by default, many browsers are going to uh, make the font inside a text area a little bit smaller than normal. So basically, we're just, we're just setting this back to 16 PX. And this is also going to affect the padding up here by making it 1 times 16 PX. Okay. Let's also set a line height of 1.4 just to aid with aesthetics as well as, um, you know, making it a little bit easier to read. Going back inside here now, we can see we get these font changes to the text area. And of course, uh, if I was to type something more, uh, we have that uh, larger than normal gap between every single line, thanks to that line height, which of course makes it a little bit easier to read in my opinion. Okay, so going back inside here, we can also set a width on the text area to be something like 200 px. Okay. Once again, up to you what uh, what sizes you want to use inside here. I'm also going to set a height of 100 px, and these um these of course are just default. So if I go back inside here, the user can still you know drag around this size. So once again, they're just defaults. Okay. Now. Very important. We're going to set a transition here to be all at 0.2 seconds. So basically, this is simply uh, saying whenever any of the properties 
in the text area change, it's going to take 0.2 seconds to complete that change. Okay. Now, this is going to give us a nice smooth transition, you know, things like fades, um, when the color changes on the border or the background or the text and things like that. So we're going to get to this, uh, or we're, we're going to get to that um, very shortly. Okay. So um, we're basically done with all of the default styles on the text area. So moving on to the styles for when the user hovers over the text area. So for those ones, we can say text area, then colon hover. So when the user hovers over the text area, we're going to be changing the cursor to be pointer just to give the user a little bit more feedback to say, yes, you can actually click on the text area. Okay. We can also set a background color here of triple E. Okay. So this background color should be lighter than the default given in your text area class. Okay. So make sure once again, uh, your background color here is lighter than the one in your default. Save this, go back in the browser, hover over the text area, and we get that cursor change as well as the lighter background color. All very straightforward. Okay. So next up, we're going to style up the text area when the user is focusing on it, basically whenever they're typing. So for this one, we can use the focus pseudo class and inside here, we can change the cursor to be uh, text. So back to the default text cursor, once again, to give the user, you know, some feedback that yes, you can actually type inside here and dropping down, we can set the color or the text color to be triple three, just the dark gray. Once again, make sure this color is this time darker than the default color. Okay. And of course, due to our transition all, um, it's going to be a nice subtle transition or a fade as the color changes. Okay. We can set also a background color here to be white. Um, and then also a border color of triple three, the same uh, color as the text. So what is happening right here? Well, well, when I say right here, I'm referring to the border color. So i um, going back to the text area right up here. When we said transparent, basically um, by setting the border color down here, we're just setting the color part of this entire border declaration. So basically we're just saying triple three inside here. But why did I choose to do that um, over just simply using a border down here just like this? Well, what this border color and this um, transparent does is basically it just makes space available on you know, around the text area for that color to then come through later on. So if I go back in the browser, you'll see what I mean. So if I was to click on here, we can see the border comes into place smoothly. Okay. Um, whereas if I was to go back in here and just make or move this border to the bottom instead and make this triple three. Okay. Save this back in the browser. We can see now it's actually going to expand and that's not good. So of course, make sure you actually have the border space available by using the transparent right up here. Um, then simply change the border color part down here. So that's why we're using that right there. And we're basically done with the text area styling. So if today's video helped you out, drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.